Hey there, it's John from Tiny, and I'm joined by Frederick Danielson, product manager for Tiny MCE. And we're here to talk about Tiny MCE 6.3, which is all about promoting quality, boosting productivity, and delighting your users. In 6.3, we have two new features and a whole handful of enhancements requested by you, our customers, and the community. So without further ado, I'm going to hand it over to Frederick to talk about the first new feature. Over to you, Frederick. All right. Thank you. Uh, so with 6.3, we have a new plugin called Advanced Typography. So the background here is like when computer came, we sort of lost the art to do good typography. So we have this advanced typography to bridge that gap. With the push of a magic button, it will apply something like 25 typographic convention, beautifying your text. And you get, you know, the, the standard replacements or characters, like you get the copyright symbol and fractions, but you also have replacements to get proper math signs or symbols. So, you know, X is not equal to multiplication sign. There actually exists a real multiplication sign you know, minus signs and stuff like that. A big one is that you can have the correct quotes and apostrophes, uh, making sure like it, it follows the convention in your, in your region. And it also inserts uh, non-breaking spaces in between short words to prevent ugly line breaks and stuff. So it's all about making your text look good and, and without really having to worry about all this typographic convention, you can just push that button and make it look good. And we have support for close to 30 languages uh, all over the globe. And you can configure what rules to use uh, through the config. Uh, and yeah, this uh, that best typography plugin is a premium plugin and it's available in the professional class. Over to you, John. Awesome, Frederick. And that sounds like it's a plugin that would be equally useful to people in the publishing industry, but also people in other industries who are not so familiar with all these rules and they just want to level up their content with the click of a button. Exactly. Okay, awesome. Moving on to our next plugin, Inline CSS. Now, if you're like me and you work in marketing, you're familiar with all of the pains of sending emails and ensuring that they're compatible with all the different email clients out there. There's a lot of archaic rules and conventions that you have to follow to make sure your emails display properly across Outlook, Gmail, Apple Mail, and all the mobile devices. And one of those rules that developers traditionally have had to deal with on their own was making sure that the HTML that is sent uses inline CSS. If you don't do this, there's a chance that your emails will look broken in a few email clients. So historically, what developers have had to do is take the output of their email editor, for example, TinyMCE, take all the CSS styles, whether they be embedded, external, or inline, and combine them all together into inline CSS. With inline CSS, TinyMCE does all of this for you. It's one simple API that you can call, which will take all of those different types of CSS inline it with the HTML and provide the output that's ready to be sent as an email. I'll show you how it works. So what I've got here is TinyMCE set up as a basic email editor with some merge tags and some different styled content. We have some styles applied to the text. And if we just look at the editor HTML, we'll see that there's no styles applied inline, which won't work for email. Now I've got my developer tools opened on the right and I'm gonna click this get inline CSS button, which calls the inline CSS API and outputs the inline CSS HTML to the console. And there you go. You have the HTML in the editor pulling all the CSS styles and inlining them into the output. So what this means is your app no longer has to manage this functionality on your own, whether you've built it on your own or if you're using a third-party library. You can rely on TinyMCE to give you clean CSS inlined HTML every time. Inline CSS is available on TinyMCE Essentials and above. Now on to the enhancements. The first major enhancement for TidyMCE 6.3 is an improvement to Advanced Code Editor. Advanced Code Editor is a plugin available in TidyMCE Essentials and above that lets your power users go in and edit the underlying HTML from the editor. It offers color coding, tabbing, and line numbers for easy code editing. Historically, Advanced Code Editor is opened in a modal pop-up window, but with TidyMCE 6.3, you can add the Advanced Code Inline True option which will open the advanced code editor in line with the editor. This is great for use cases where you don't want a pop-up coming up on your screen and you want the code editing restricted to the tiny MCE component within your app. 
The next enhancement is to TinyMCE's Accessibility Checker, which is available in TinyMCE Professional and above. Accessibility Checker acts as almost like a spell checker for accessibility. It goes through your editor contents and checks against WCAG accessibility rules and highlights warnings and errors that your users can fix to ensure that your content is accessible. With Accessibility Checker, we made improvements in two categories. Number one, the Accessibility Checker UI, and number two, one of the rules that Accessibility Checker checks against. So for the UI, we introduced separate icons between warnings, errors, and success messages, helping users identify them quicker and easier. We also introduced more discoverable info buttons beside each error and warning. These info buttons link to a help article with information specific to that rule so your users can understand how to fix it. With Accessibility Checker, we also added one new rule relating to image alt tags. If the image alt tag is longer than 100 characters, Accessibility Checker will now show a warning indicating that the user should shorten it to less than 100 characters. Okay, over to you, Frederick, to talk about the color picker. All right, so we spent some time enhancing our color picker that is available to everyone in, in the core editor. We made it easier and nicer to use and give you as a developer more control over the end user experience and what they can do with it. So first off, we added the option to set the default color for text and background color. So now you can immediately have the button show red or text color or light yellow for, for highlight. Made it easier and faster for end users to begin uh, setting text. We also add the possibility to have different color palettes for foreground and background colors. So you can have bright, intense colors for, for your text colors and then lighter colors for highlights only. And we made it easier to see what colors is actually selected by having a check mark on the text. And as I said, this is available in the core editor, so anyone who upstate to 6.3 will get these improvements. So John, how do people get hold of TinyMC 6.3? Great question, Frederick. So if you're on the Tiny Cloud and you're on the TinyMC 6 channel, you'll be upgraded automatically. Of course, if you want access to these premium features that we've shown, you either have to be on that plan or you can sign up for a 14-day free trial on our website, tiny.cloud. If you're using the open source version, you can just get it from GitHub or NPM. And if you're a self-hosted customer, you can log into your account to download the latest files. And if you're not yet on TinyMC 6, now's the time to upgrade. TidyMCE 5 will reach end of support in 2023, so be sure to upgrade to TidyMCE 6 to take advantage of these new features, ongoing bug fixes, and exciting new features that we're looking forward to introducing this year. Speaking of which, Frederick, do you want to talk about what people can look forward to in 2023? Absolutely. So for this upcoming year, we plan to focus heavily on templates. And I'm just going to give you a very short sneak peek of what we are planning to do. So we want to focus on these digital documents, uh, emails and landing pages and be able to create these very highly visual, nice looking documents right inside TinyMC. We know a lot of you already do this with TinyMC, but we want to make this process much nicer, faster and approachable uh, with with our new template features that we are planning to do in 2023. So while we are working on this, I would love for you to head over to our roadmap website and give us feedback on how you need templates to work and how you would like us to implement it and what your requirements are so we make sure that we build a thing that, that helps you build the nicest implementation that you need. Amazing. Looks really exciting, Frederick. Okay, so that's it for TinyMC 6.3. You can find out all the details in our release notes at tiny.cloud slash docs. And as Frederick mentioned, head over to tiny.cloud slash roadmap and provide your input on the future of TinyMCE.